All right, people, here's the deck profile for Kaijus. Uh, it actually changed since I was playing it on Daily Duels. I was used, I was running Tuner Monsters because I think it was sick, but the deck is just so slow and, and I was uncooperative. I don't think I bust out a lot of Synchro, so I just said, fuck it, take it out, and uh, Pierre. So, Pierre, uh, you know, I, I, if I was, I was going to play any variant of Kaijus, I'd probably play Yusenjus because, you know, how aggressive Yusenjus are. It could be they can summon, 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 tack, 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 tack. They can go into Lightning Trajory, that's power too. Uh, Gradles, uh, you know, they're kind of passive, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you kill me, I'm going to take your monster, you know. I'd rather just go ahead and just be like, hey, take this, you know, Kaiju monster, or right, some of my Yusenju, some of my Yusenju, return my fucking Kaiju back to my hand, poke you directly. So I, I said Kaiju Gradles are the best, but, uh, you know, we tried pure, I got a lot of inspiration from Lessium, I thought maybe that, but I was, I was A, not in the mood to run fucking, uh, uh, pot of cupidity. So I tried to make a pure in and off of that, I tried to throw in the synchros like he did, and it was like, kind of, uh, it was a hard deck, like, I got countered a lot, and I didn't win a lot of the duels that you think I would have won, the deck is kind of slow, so, anyway, here it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you the deck profile, go ahead and take it, change it up, do whatever, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna say right now, I am not a Kaiju expert, this is literally my first time ever playing Kaiju, I've never played it before, never touched the deck since it came on CG, and, and, you know, it's already got all the support, so, that, you know, that's how you know. Uh, it's not one of my cups of teas. I never was a big fan of, like, Lava Golem, so I want to play a deck of Lava Golem, so, you know. Anyway, of course, we run the Triple Gamma Seal because, uh, A, you can summon it as one of the lower attacking ones to your opponent, and that negating banishing is just so good. Come on. I already run two of the Dogaran. Uh, he's mostly used to give to my opponent, you know? Uh, if I play, like, you know, uh, Disrupted the Kaiju, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber or whatever it's called, uh, I'll give them the Dogaran, and then I'll take for myself, like, the Thunder King or the, the Jizz, so, um, I'll take the Jizz. Uh, all, all over my face, down my throat. Hello? <laughs> Pause! All the pods, but, uh, yeah, so, Dogonon's fine. It's, uh, it's a nice one to give your opponent because they can't use it during your turn to, you know, negate, to do your tokens, because it's only once per turn, which means that, uh, you don't want to keep, do you let them keep the Dogonon, you don't want to give it to them and then kill it, so. You could probably run, you could run three, but I think two, especially with, you know, Gamma Seal and then, uh, uh, Radiant. Uh, you could probably drop Radiant down, down to two. The only reason I was running three is because of the tuner. But if I was going to change anything right now, just looking at it, after that, uh, drop Radiant down to two and then up Dogodan to three. I apologize for the background noise. Not getting no respect in this damn house. Uh, two Thunder King. I really wanted to use the fact, but I never really had an opportunity. My opponent generally didn't have three monsters. I mean, come on, it's kind of I'm tributing your monster, so you don't have three monsters. Uh, and then three, I mean, two Jizz, too, because these guys can get kind of cloggy. They, they're both kind of situational. So, you, you, debatable, you could up this to three, but you don't want to give this to your opponent, so if you open up a multiple, then you don't want to give this to your opponent, you know? And, uh, you could up this to three. You could probably drop this down to two. The reason why this is at uh, three, like I said, is because tuners, uh, but they're not in here anymore. You can clearly see, we just have a whole bunch of just toolbox shit. Uh, then Car Car D, because sometimes they make me go first, or they make me take it slow, so I would gotta go ahead and play Car Car D, draw. Even if I draw on Car Car D, I mean, it's still fine, because I could just Car Car D again, so you already know. It's the balanced version of Pot of Greed. It's not fucking Pot of Cupidity, sorry, but I hate that card. And, uh, Car Car D, it's like, yay, so there you go. And Monster Count's kind of small. I mean, you can clearly see, but, uh, like I said, I was running Glow Up Ball and two, uh, What's his name? What's his name? Jet Synchron, I think that's his name. Jet Synchron, the the one that searches and you banish to summon it back. When it banish, what? I think you like put the top card. No, you put the card in your hand to the graveyard to summon it back. I don't remember. Jet, but I think it's that one, level one tuner guy. So I took him out and ran Car Card D because Car Card D is plus one of those. I just couldn't synchro set up. I think I did it once, and in the end, it was still just uh, so. Of course, three uninterrupted slumber, dark hold, some to kind of do. Uh, keep in mind that if you're doing it like Debra Wacho, bro, they don't really specify, but you get the first monster opponent gets second one. So I actually fuck that up, and then of course the banish search is also great as well. Uh, then three kaiju files because it's nice to go ahead and switch out a kaiju. It's like, hey, you know, I get this kaiju, you get this kaiju, run over that kaiju, and then I go ahead and switch it out for like a gamma seal, and then, you know, banish in the gate or switch out for more attack. So it's nice too, and then. Um, more counters for more of the kaiju monsters is great as well. I don't think I ever used the whole, uh, if it has three or more counters, I can add one kaiju spell or trap. I don't think I've ever done that, but it'd be nice to go ahead and do that. It'd be nice if Waterfront was a kaiju card, because then, you know, you summon enough kaiju to move three and you get Waterfront, but nope, so. Then, of course, three Waterfront, because it's, like, the main thing, you know. Uh, get all them counters for just cards being sent to the graveyard, uh, multiple counters for my kaiju monsters to do all their kaiju plays, and then I get to go ahead, if I have three or more, I get to just add it, return, plus, 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 plus. It would be destroyed, remove a counter instead. It's great. It's a great fail spell. 
Uh, triple MST, you're probably wondering. MST, not Twin Twister. Uh, I feel like this deck doesn't really have the discarding outlet to play Twin Twister, because I don't need to destroy the back row too much. So, uh, you know, with Gamma Seal negating and then, you know, Jizz protecting from targeting and all that. So then I was like, you know what? Just MST. MST is fine. Uh, then triple terraforming because I really want to get that waterfront. Duh, because waterfront's just so good. Uh, triple removed brainwashing. Give it, tribute your shit, give your, my, my, uh, my country monster and give it back. It's so good. So, definitely. I, I didn't really feel like I need to play owner seal. I kind of felt like removed brainwashing was enough. So, but if you want to throw an owner seal, then, you know, go one path to you. Of course, the Solemn Brigade, one strike, one warning, and then triple drowning mirror force because fuck you. Because I have, sometimes I have a lot open, you know. Generally, how I lose duels is that you know they somehow some they get a way to way to get rid of my kaiju and then continue plays. I of course can't really do anything with my kaiju during my opponent's turn, and they fuck me up. They hit me directly. I don't have much background. I don't have a strike or warning stop to play. So sure, go ahead and hit me directly. I'll go ahead and card card B. I'll set the drowning mirror force, which I go off, attack on me, and run into this drowning mirror force. Because sometimes I won't have monsters. I mean, drowning mirror force. I would de definitely say in the top five best trap cards right now. It's just so fucking blowout card because your opponent has got. Eventually, gonna attack you directly to game you, unless they're gonna fucking chip out, chip you out eight thousand by ta just attacking monsters. I seriously doubt that. And as soon as there's a space to hit you with, they get blown out. So, you know, this card, this card is fucking ridiculous. Like, holy shit. <laughs> All right, and then just generic eights and sevens and sixes and nines and tens, because that's what we have. We have some sevens, we have some tens, we have some nines, we have some eights, and we have some more eights. So, just in case. I seriously doubt that'll ever happen, but fuck it, you know? So, because I've searched since I can only control one Kaiju monster, so I doubt it, but fuck it, might as well have a full extra deck, right? So, you really don't need an extra deck. Unless you're doing the secret variant, in which case more power to you, but I just couldn't get it to work. So there you go, Kaiju's, it's a, is it a good deck? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think Pure is. Uh, like I said, I think your Sentry would hit Kaiju would be the best. Definitely. Uh, you know. Uh, maybe, maybe like, main deck you send juice with, with Card of Demise. Unless Card of Demise gets hit, then, alright. And then side deck, you know, a whole bunch of you send juice, and then you can, I mean, uh, uh, Kaiju's, and then you can go ahead and switch it out with your Card of Demises and shit, and play that variant. You know, it's all good, you know, especially with Drowning Mirror Force and Card of Demise. I mean, your send are still good. They're still good. Um... So yeah, there you go. Is my variant good? I don't think so. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You know, take reference. But I mean, there's some cards that I definitely recommend running. Like, yeah, run three. Yeah, run two to three. Yeah, run two. Yeah, run two. Two to three. Uh, I definitely recommend this. It's really good. Of course, run three. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say two to three. Two to three. It's debatable, but I'd rather have it than not. So, uh, definitely three. Definitely. You know, you can also run uh, Planet Pathfinder, Summon it should be to get a field spell, so that's also good as well. I mean, you generally don't use your normal summon anyway. I mean, that's why we're in Car Card D, so, you know, a path is even out, Car Card D is a plus, so. Um, it's up to you. It really depends. You want to run Galaxy Cyclone? Galaxy Cyclone. You want to run Twin Twister? Twin Twister. You want to run, you know, anything. It's more power to you, so. Uh, yeah, I recommend three. At first I was thinking about dropping a two, but then I was like, oh, you know what, I'd rather have it than not. So, yeah, and then generally it's a big target for your opponent to get rid of. You know, they're going to pop it, so. And, and then you're know, like, I don't actually know. And so, of course, the Solemn Brigade and yes, Drowning Mirror Force, because yeah. So, there you go, people. And then, if you haven't seen already, already going up, uh, we are playing with uh, Crystal Beast Pendulum. So, uh, that should be interesting as well. Video, the first video is already up. We got Forever joining me, uh, 101 class, kind of like when we did Necros again. I'll learn it, I'll make it of my own, and then uh, we'll go ahead and start playing by myself. So, Anyway, thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and I believe that's it. That's all the deck profiles for uh, this month. So that's great. We're done. All right, people. Thanks for watching.